Well, good morning. Um, we're going to look a little bit this morning at how to use the microscope. Uh, my understanding is some of the slides that you received are not very good quality, so we're going to learn how to make our own. Um, you're going to start with a normal household onion. Doesn't matter what color. I chose a yellow one. Uh, you're going to cut a little piece about that size. That's great. Um, then you're going to peel the inside, not the outside, but the inside curve. And a little careful, careful with your fingers, you can peel a little tiny layer off the inside. So then you're going to get into your slide box, grab it, and gently, gently tap it down on the slide. Because you don't want to damage the cells, that's the point. Uh, find your iodine. You should have a napkin with this. You notice I don't. Yes, you should, because it will stain. If it gets on your fingers, um, your skin cells will grow back in time. Not to worry. Um, that's just Mrs. P and her silly sense of humor. Uh, iodine is used, uh, or used to be used, in hospitals quite a bit to sterilize. So then you want to find a cover slip. This is a technique called creating a wet mount. You want to... Do, do, do. Oh, I think I have two cover slips. 45 degree angle on the slide. 45 degree angle. I'm trying to get this as much as you can see it. And then just drop it and gently tap it into place. Okay, so our slide's ready to go. We want to let that sit for about a minute so the stain can really get into those cells. So I'll try to clean up here in the meantime. Can I open this box upside down? Okay, so here's our microscope. Um, ocular lens. Uh, how much is it magnifying by? Well, you want to take a look at the top which you probably wouldn't normally want to do this in a microscope, but it says 10. So it's magnifying by 10. Down here we have our objective lenses. Uh, you look at the side of them. This one says 4, this one says 10, and this one says 40. So to calculate magnification on a microscope, you multiply the top by the, the objective. 10 times 10, that'd be 100. Actually, I just pointed to the 40, didn't I? Um, yes, I did. So, so 4. 4 times 10, that would be 40. You always want to start on the lowest magnification with the stage down. And then uh, this, I don't know if you've looked at it yet, but this, uh, there was a mirror plugged in here. I plugged in the light, plugged this little power cord in, and plugged it in so we have light. Um, it's actually a pretty great little microscope. Uh, you're going to start by looking through, and I must not be in place because I have nothing going on here. Oop, I guess I <laughs> moved the light a little bit. Um, and then just go up and down on the focus until you see your cells. Uh, I highly recommend start on 40. I always multiply them together. So start on 4, go to the 10, and then go up to the 40 to see uh, at 400 power. The early, first early microscope was made by a man by the name of um, Hook. He named cells, which means little rooms in Latin. Next guy by the name of Lewin Hook, a few years later, came up with a microscope that would have magnified about as much as you're going to be able to see on the highest power on this one. It's called a light microscope. Today, of course, they have microscopes that can do fantastic things and multiply um, by millions and millions of times the size so they can actually see inside cells and see the little organelles. But those microscopes are um, millions of dollars <laughs> and you have to kill. Oops, I forgot my headset. You have to kill whatever you're looking at. So, you know, this is a lot. You can get to see things live. I highly recommend you to play. Boy, I'm having trouble this morning. Recommend you play with your microscope. Go out and find um, think grass. Take a uh, write a little small letter because microscopes reverse letters and so it's kind of fun to see what they do under the microscope. Uh, go and find um, some little uh, piece of lettuce. Sometimes a little, if you can peel a little thin piece of lettuce that's kind of fun too to see some cells and play with your stains. I think you have a couple of them in your kit. You can use the different ones to see if you can see cell features. With the onion cell you should be able to see the nucleus so look for it and you should be able to see the cell wall, a very common feature in plant cells. So have a great day and enjoy playing with your microscope.